But the greatest of all was Jesus. We can just remember his name and think power. Remember his name and think salvation. Remember his name and think deliverance. Remember his name and think savior. Remember his name and think the blood. Remember his name and think the word. Remember his name and know that we're on our way to heaven. And we're so glad about it. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so glad. But that's why I tell you to kill it. Kill it all. I don't care what it is. I don't care what your it is. I don't care who it is. Too many people are leaving God because they figure out it's time for me to try my wing. I haven't got enough out there yet. Uh-huh. But God is saying, do something that will outlast you. Do something that's going to outlive you. And if you're on fire for God, it will outlast you. Somebody's going to remember something that you do, something that will burn in you all of your life, as I said before. Hallelujah. Say something. Do something. Thank you, Lord, that when you're gone, the kingdom of God will continue. To go. The word of God said the kingdom of God suffers violence, but the violence take it by force. And you and I have got to be able to take back what the devil stole from us, and not only us, but our children and our children's children and whoever else we know. Because we are our brother's keeper. It's time, church. It's time to kill it. Remember, we're the church. We're his body. And every demonic spirit that has been placed under his feet is placed under our feet. We can trample on serpents and scorpions. Hallelujah. Jesus already defeated Satan. He already arose. And because he arose, he made it possible that you and I arise. And we'll go be with him in heaven. Those of us who've lived the light and kept the faith. Thank you, Jesus. Ephesians 2, 6 tells us that God has raised us up together and made us to sit together with him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue's going to confess that he is Lord. Now, is he Lord of your life? Is he Lord of your life? Have you allowed him to have first place? What is he doing in you right now? What is he fixing in you right now? Have you allowed him to do something? What is it? What is it that you want from God? What is that it, that habit, that even though overseer asked you to come, that wanted a miracle? Everybody didn't get the miracle because they wanted her to lay hands. And they look for things, of miracles, only certain ways. We programmed ourselves to one way with God. And that's why people miss the, that's right, miss the move of God. They miss the presence of God flowing through the building because you can sit in your seat and tell yourself because of the blood of Jesus I'm healed and be healed and not suffer any more pain or when the pain comes tell yourself I'm the king's kid and he already fixed it for me what is it what is your it today what is it that's holding you back from moving forward what is it that the voice has spoken to you that you have not obeyed what is that thing that we love so much that we already made up our mind? I ain't coming back here tomorrow morning. Look at him still up here at this hour. Uh-huh. What's about 11.15? Oh, yeah. Because if we're home, what we're going to do? Uh-huh. We can go home, turn the TV off, and start praying and praising God and meditating the word of God. Open up that word and be able to praise God all night long and get on up to my morning and come on in here shouting and praising God and on fire for God and never miss a beat. We think, some people think three nights a week is too much. That's too much. Go to church all the time. That's all they do is church it. I'm glad I'm able to church it. Elder Norman, Pastor, I'm glad that I'm able to get in the church because I remember those times I've been in pain. I remember the times when I couldn't move. That's why when I got a chance, I praise God. I praise him while I can to rack it up so when I can't say anything, I don't have to worry about whether I can open my mouth or not. I can just wave my hand and he'll understand it all. Oh, I bless his name tonight. What is that it for you? What is that it? that you know you need removed out of your life and yet you sit on it because you want to retrieve it for later on.
Some people spend more time on the computer than they do in the church. Spend more time on the computer, amen, than they do in the word. More time in the computer and on the TV than they do in prayer. Why don't we just fast from TV tonight and look for the move of God and expect God to do something else when we come in tomorrow. Why don't we do that? Why, can, can everybody in here just fast from TV for one night? You ain't got to hear the news tonight. You ain't got to know what, what, what Obama's doing or oh, what anybody else is doing. You ain't got to know what's going on in politics. You ain't got to know who shot who. You ain't got to look. No, you'll know what the weather comes because God's in charge of the weather and he can change it any time. They get the weather all the time and it's always wrong. Uh-huh. How many is willing to fast from that TV tonight to see what God is going to do? Oh, they'll, they'll, they'll turn it on, overseer, because everybody didn't raise their hand. Why don't you just fast from it tonight and say, God, I just want to feel your presence. I'm going to bed with you tonight. I'm going to bed with you. I just want you to love on me tonight, God. Let me feel your presence. Let me 